Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to continue talking about Lost Grid by showing you responsive grids using Lost. Now, we're not going to be doing anything special with media queries, or just going to be sort of plain old media queries, but it's just going to show you how easy it is to get a really nice grid going with Lost that changes responsively. So let's get going on that right now. So in the last video, we had some asymmetrical grids here. I'm going to go ahead and actually remove some of that. I'm going to get rid of this entire section here. I'm going to add back in some of these grid items uh, just so we have some additional items in here. And I'm going to remove the stuff here about the nth child. So that way we have a normal sort of grid. I'm going to do it one third like so. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, the only real code we have here is a clear fix on the wrapper, and we have a lost hyphen column of one third on each individual div here. Now, what we're gonna be doing in this video is we're gonna be making this into a responsive grid that goes from one column to two columns to three to four based on the browser width. Okay, so we want that breakpoint to happen sort of where it feels nice. So obviously, uh, what we want by default is to get rid of this lost column. Uh, we can even say one out of one here, like so. And then that way, what you get is every single one of these items. And actually, I'm going to get rid of these interior divs here as well. So we just have grid items like so. Okay, and now as you can see here, with this one over one, each one of these takes with the 100% uh, of the parent. And as you can see, we have a nice sort of stacking going on and they're doing that for the entire width. So the next thing we wanna do is head to our CSS. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw in a media query in here. And as you can see, I'm gonna say at above, 400 pixels. Uh, I want you to let's copy this whole little statement here like so. Okay. Now at this point, I want this to go to one half. So at 400 pixels, this grid is going to go to taking up half. Therefore, it's going to be two columns. So as you can see, I refresh and we get to I actually think I had this backwards. It's uh, max width. Let me have this say min width 400 refresh. Okay, so we have one column at under 400. Once we hit 400, we break into two equal columns. Now let's sort of just feel this out, right? So then we can come to here and say about, let's say like 900, it's feeling a little wide here. So let's go ahead and add, add this another media query, we can say now at 900 pixels, we want these to be each one third, like so. Now when we refresh, we get one third. Okay, we make this smaller to one, one third, there we go. And then now at let's say 14, uh, let's just say maybe 13, not, not so much 14. At 13, we want this to go to four columns. Okay, so we can come in here, and now we can just say 1300 here, and 1300 is going to go to one quarter. Okay, now we refresh, and now you can see, uh, in pretty much no time at all, we the best part is we didn't have to define any sort of cycle, we didn't have to define any sort of rows, we didn't have to say how many items were in here, all we had to say was yeah, take up one fourth, take up one third, take up one half. We didn't have to do any margin right. We didn't have to do any clearing other than the clear fix on the parent. 
But as you can see, that's a pretty sweet responsive grid for uh, the couple of seconds essentially that it took us to throw this together. So while Lost itself doesn't provide any sort of features essentially for building responsive grids, it does make it super easy just by having this easy syntax in general. And depending on what sort of CSS preprocessor you're using, uh, like I myself use a stylus, and then I use the rupture package for media queries, I'm telling you, Using something like Rupture with Lost uh, just makes the syntax and just the whole thing of working responsively endlessly awesome. So check it out. This is how you build an easy responsive grid using Lost. It's essentially just uh, defining these different various Lost columns. I mean, you could throw anything on here. You could say, okay, now we want you to cycle four and we want you to have uh, now we want you to have a larger, uh, let's say gutter here. We want you to have a 50 pixel gutter. Now you can see once we get up, we have this larger 50 pixel gutter. So, I mean, you really have complete control over everything with one CSS property and you can use, you can break this out and say lost hyphen cycle and things like that if you'd like. However, this shorthand, this one line is doing a whole lot for you and it's super, super convenient. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. I love to hear from you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.